let's talk about synthetic division because synthetic division, my friends, is one of my favorite things. It feels a little bit like witchcraft, which is really um, aptly themed as when I am recording this right now, it is October 13th. Um, who knows if I'm using the same video 12 years in the future in the middle of June, <laughs> but right now, currently, it is October 13th, and so therefore close to Halloween, and therefore it's fun to talk about the fact that this is kind of spooky. Synthetic division is kind of spooky because it takes a really, really long process, like polynomial long division, and it turns it into almost a cakewalk. Now, you're going to see a lot of steps here, which makes it look like it's really difficult, but I promise once you see this process in action, you'll see how quick and amazing it is. So synthetic division is used when we have polynomial long division, but it can only be used when the divisor is of the form x plus a number or x minus a number. So it can't be used for divisors like 2x minus 1 because 2x, come on, zoom, zoom, come on, there you go. 2x minus 1 has a 2 in front of the x, so it's not in this form. For this guy right here, x squared plus 5, can't use synthetic division on him because there's a square. right? It has to be x plus a number or x minus a number. It can't be any um, anything different than that. How do we do synthetic division? So glad you asked. Let's talk. To set up synthetic division, you always have x plus a number or x minus a number for your divisor with synthetic division. You want to take this guy and you put his opposite sign down here. So instead of plus 2, it becomes negative 2. This is an opposite sign. And this is if it's positive or negative. Either way, opposite sign. Next, you're going to take the coefficient. of this polynomial, just the coefficients. Make sure you have all of them. Let's see, we have x cubed, x squared, x, and regular. We have everything. We're going to take all these coefficients. Right here, there's a secret one. And we're putting them right in here with the very last one, 15, over here. Right. So we have 1, negative 7, negative 13, 15. One from here, negative 7, negative 13, 15. These are the coefficients of the dividend. The next step, right, you got these guys bring them on down. All right. First step, take this number right here, this number one in the first plot here, bring it down. That's it. That's the first step. So you can see why, <laughs> why I said like it's misleading how long these steps look here because I'm just really breaking it down into multiple steps. All right, once you've dropped down that first one, you're multiplying this number by this up here. So it ends up being multiply diagonally add down is what the pattern ends up being. So you multiply one by negative two, one times negative two, right? Negative two times one is negative two. So you take negative two and you put it right here. And then you erase everything because iPads are awesome. All right, then you add down negative seven minus two and I'm going to make that minus 2 black. Negative 7 plus negative 2 is negative 9.
And that's why there's a negative nine there. All right, so we did negative two, negative nine. Next, take this new number right here. You're multiplying it by this number. So you're always taking whatever number's down in this bottom row and multiplying it by the number on the outside. And then you're always adding down. So my next step is negative two, negative two times negative nine. Negative two times negative nine is positive 18. So I put positive 18 here. Negative 13 plus 18 is five. Negative 13 plus 18 is five. So I put a five here. Then five times negative two, or I guess I should say negative two times five, that's negative 10. Negative 10 comes here. 15 minus 10, or rather 15 plus negative 10, is 5. And my friends, we're done. We're done. And you might be like, okay, what? That doesn't make any sense. What is it? Well, these guys over here on the left side of that vertical bar are the coefficients of the quotient. And this little guy here is the remainder. When you're doing synthetic division, the degree of the quotient is always one degree less than the dividend. So if our original dividend, dividend was x cubed minus 7x squared minus 13x plus 15. This is our original, right? The dividend right here. This is a degree 3. That means that our answer is going to start with degree 2. Right, so it's like we're going to have something x squared plus something x plus something plus the remainder over the divisor x plus 2. And those somethings come from up here. So it's 1x squared, which is just x squared, plus the next box, negative 9. So not plus, but minus, minus 9x. 5, so then plus 5, plus the remainder, 5, over the divisor, x plus 2. And that is our complete and total answer. So let's try that again without there being a million and a half steps here. Let's try it again. All right, here's my little setup box. I have it all ready to go. <clears throat> the way I'm setting it up, right? I'm, in fact, let me just put this guy over here. I'm putting the opposite sign. So I'm taking this guy and his opposite sign would be positive three. I'm taking um, the coefficients of my polynomial. Now notice these guys are not written in order, nor are, am I, do I have every power of uh, x. So I'm going to rewrite this. I have an x to the fourth minus 2x cubed 
plus 3x squared. I don't have an x term, so I'm going to put plus 0x here, minus 4. So my coefficients are 1, negative 2, positive 3, 0, and negative 4, with negative 4 belonging over here. 1, negative 2, 3, 0, negative 4. Okay. I pull down the first number, 1. Then it's 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 0 plus 18 is 18. 18 times 3 is 54. Negative 4 plus 54 is 50. We started with a degree 4, which means our quotient should start with degree 3. So this, co this coefficient right here is the coefficient on x cubed. So we have 1x cubed plus 1x squared plus 6x plus 18 plus the remainder, 50, over the divisor, x minus 3. I'm going to pause real quick to show what the comparison is for the long division, so give me a sec. All right, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There's everything. Um, so it's, it's giant, right? It's gross. Look at how much faster it was to just do synthetic than to have to do uh, polynomial long division. Um, so I think I just have like, yeah, just like two more examples. Let's just do two more examples real quick. Good time to practice if you'd like to practice. My first step, always, 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 is going to be rewriting um, polynomials that aren't written in the right form. So this guy should be negative x to the fourth. We're missing a cube term, so plus 0x cubed. plus 3x squared minus 14x minus 5. I'm taking the opposite sign when I put this number over here. The last coefficient ends up coming over here. And then I have negative 1, 0, 3, and negative 14 that come over here. Those are the coefficients. Negative 1, 0, 3, negative 14. Drop down the negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 3 is 18. Negative 14 plus 18 is 4. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And negative 5 minus 12 is negative 17. We started with a degree 4, so our answer will start with degree 3. The coefficient of the leading term is negative 1, so we have negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x plus 4. And then the remainder is negative 17 divided by the divisor, x plus 3. Bam. Easy peasy. It's so fast. It's so, so fast. It's like witchcraft because it's so fast. How could we take such a long process and make it so fast? How amazing. All right, one more. Once again, got to look at our, quotient, our, divide, our dividend and make sure it has all the powers. We have negative 2x to the 4th. We are missing a 0x cubed plus 12x squared plus 5x minus 8. Take the opposite of this sign, negative 2. The negative 8 comes over here. 
And then the other coefficients are negative 2, 0, 12, and 5. Negative 2, 0, 12, and 5. Dropping that negative 2 down. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. We started with degree 4. So that means negative 2 is the coefficient on x cubed, one degree less, plus 4x squared plus 4x minus 3 plus negative 2 divided by x plus 2. Bam. Anyway, it's super cool. It's super, super cool. And this has a lot of really fun applications. And we're going to talk about them in the next video where we talk about the factor theorem. And then we'll talk about the remainder theorem. It's really cool. It has a lot of fun applications. Anyway, I hope your day is spectacular. I hope that you're, uh, you are you have a wonderful good day, that you find like $500 on the ground and it belongs to nobody or maybe it belongs to Bill Gates so you get to keep it. I don't know. I'm just saying I hope you have a great day. I shouldn't end these videos weird because I, I do it in one take, guys. If I mess up, that's it. <laughs> I can't redo this entire thing. Have a great day. See you in another video. Bye.